Hey guys, I'm Gavin. Welcome to our church experience at home. It's so cool that we can have church no matter where we are. And whether you're watching on your own, with your family, or with your parents, here's what today looks like. We're going to have some awesome worship, and then we're going to watch a fun message that will teach us something very cool from the Bible. And then you're actually going to have time to think and talk about what you learned today. So let's get started. And let's get started with this question. What's been the best part of your week? Hey guys, it is game time. My name is Gavin and we get to play a fun game called Mad Gab. And maybe you've played this before but played it with cards. And as you can see, we have totally changed that. This is all digital, folks. Now how this game works is that you're gonna see words on the screen, but altogether, those words are not gonna make sense. But as you say them out loud, they will start to sound like common words or phrases that you've heard before. So as you say them, start to listen to see what is this actually trying to say. So your goal of the game is to see if you can guess what that actual phrase is and decipher it based on the words that you see on the screen. So just to make sure you guys got it, we're going to do a practice round. Now say these words out loud with me. Bat tree snot included. Now that makes no sense and that sounds crazy. But say it again. Bat tree snot included. Now say it faster. Bat tree snot included. Ooh, see it's starting to sound like something. Bat tree snot included. You know what? That sounds like, yep, batteries not included. Yeah, yeah, you guys got it. So for every round, you're gonna have 10 seconds to try to decipher what these words are actually trying to tell you. So make sure you keep track of your points so you can see how many you guys can get right at the very end. So guys, have fun and good luck. Yeah. 
Well guys, congrats, you made it to the end. How many did you get right? Wow, that is awesome. That is way better than what I could do. Well guys, thank you so much for playing. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, what's up? It's Carissa and it is time to worship. Worship is a time where we get to dance, sing, and give God praise for all that he's done and for all that he is. And hey, did you guys know that there's more than just one way to worship God? One way we can worship God is by jumping and dancing and shouting and singing. But another way we can worship God is by slowing things down a bit and by thinking and praying about the words that we're singing. Another way to worship God is by simply just lifting our hands up like this. And when we lift our hands, we're telling God, God, I trust you and I give you everything. You can worship God not only at church, but at school, when you're hanging out with your friends, and even at home. And that's what we're gonna do right now together. So I invite you guys to stand up, grab a buddy, and let's worship God together. Here we go. You 
was on a journey, I was lonely, going nowhere. I didn't know what to do. But you took my hand, had bigger plans, and now I know where I gotta turn for the truth. Found a better way, found a better way, found a better way I can follow. Found a better way, found a better way, found a better way I can follow. Here we go. We're living now in your plan for us. Here we go. We shout it. kids i'm gavin over here is my buddy matt that is matt we have an awesome challenge today it is the blindfold pictionary challenge yeah food edition food edition it's kind of like your normal pictionary game except we can't really see what we're drawing we actually have blindfolds we're gonna be putting these on and we're gonna be drawing whatever our prompts are but how this works is that both of us have two different food items that we're gonna take turns drawing. And whoever can guess it in a minute, they're gonna win. So if I'm, if I'm drawing it and you guess mine, then yeah. I get five points. Ooh. And, and same with that. So each one of these is Excellent. worth five points. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Hmm. Uh, wow. Okay, at least we know it's a person. Okay, I think it's a guy wearing a helmet. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> it looks like a toucan. Wait, you want the middle? Uh, no, I don't. Okay, I guess you're st he's starting over. Nope. Oh, never mind. Oh, uh, it's the sun, and there's birds flying on the sun. I have no idea. Oh. Matt, help us out. What is that? This is Gavin eating a taco. <laughs> oh, duh. 
That's exactly what it looked like when I eat a taco. Okay, the score is zero, zero. We're not doing very well so far, but here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Oh, this is uh, I don't, I don't know what this is. Some sort of mythical creature. Oh, what's it? It's a, like uh, like Barney. Oh, like oh. Barney. It's a, it's a dinosaur. He, oh, oh, that's right. It's food edition. Hello. Uh, he's eating uh, Swiss cheese. Well, yeah. Is it's he... a dinosaur eating a piece of cheese. All right. Yeah. Hey. Three, two, one, go! Nice. Ooh, a sunset, I love it. Oh, a baseball diamond. Okay, keep, all right, keep drawing. It's pizza, uh, uh. it's pizza of some sort. I, pepperoni? Yes! Pe okay. And there's something. Well, yeah, you gotta keep drawing so I can guess it. There's something about this. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's eating pizza, half-eaten pizza. Oh. Gavin said half-eaten pizza, that's close enough. So I think I get points for that. Okay, you know what that means? Tiebreaker! Amanda edition! That's right, now Gavin and I are both gonna guess while Amanda draws something, we don't know what. She knows, you know what you're drawing? I hope you do, okay. <laughs> and hopefully, uh, hopefully I win. Or yeah. maybe you'll win. Winner so, takes all on this one. Okay, you ready, Amanda? Ready! Here we go, three, two, one, go for it. So we're still related to food. It's uh, a baguette. No, it's ooh. Uh, ooh, it's a steamy. It's a panini. It's a it's a yummy. It's a, a baked potato. Ooh, it's bread, baked it's, bread, uh, steamy bread. Ooh, bubbles hold on, because hold it's on. soup. Hold on, it's it's a uh, fork. Uh, okay. Ooh, uh, I'd be it's a steak. Eating. Ooh, okay. There's shiny there's, something boiling hot. Uh, okay. Noodles. Are there noodles? There's noodles. Uh, uh, ramen. Pad thai. Ramen noodles. So uh, thai, with uh, bubbles? With bubbles. With circles. With okay. Mushrooms? What's noodles that are uh, circles. Uh, spaghetti. spaghetti. Spaghetti and meatballs. Yes! Oh, oh yes! No! Spaghetti no! meatballs. God! Floating meatballs. Oh, man. Great job. Thanks, Amanda. Yeah. That was awesome. And, uh, <laughs> you did great. All right. My masterpiece. You did so great, I lost. All right, congratulations again, Gavin. Job well done. Thank you. Yes, uh, that was a pretty fun game. Right now in your groups, I want you guys to talk about this. Tell us about one of your favorite games. What is it, and why do you like it so much?
both sound like really fun games. I know Blindfold Pictionary was pretty fun, but we realized trying to interpret that stuff while we're drawing blindfold, that was pretty tough. It was hard to interpret what we were drawing. But in our Bible story today, we're actually learning about someone who had to interpret something that was written by God. It's pretty cool. So let's go to our Bible breakdown with Matt. Our story begins way before Jesus with Daniel, a Jewish man devoted to the one true God, living in exile in the city of Babylon. Daniel is far from his home city of Jerusalem, but he has remained faithful and loyal to God regardless of his circumstances. Daniel understood what you and I need to understand and live out every day, that we should stand up for what's right because God's got us. That's right, God's got you. Whatever difficult thing you're going through in your life, you can trust God to help you with it. Daniel went through some crazy difficult things in his life, but he always knew that God would be with him. God had his back. In fact, God gave Daniel so much favor that he actually became one of the top advisors to the king of Babylon, King Nebuchadnezzar. Well, after many years, Nebuchadnezzar dies and his son Belshazzar takes over as king. Now, Nebuchadnezzar wasn't exactly a good guy, but his son Belshazzar seems to be worse. At least Nebuchadnezzar acknowledged that Daniel's God, the one true God, was the ultimate king of the universe. But Belshazzar is way more reckless and foolish. One night, Belshazzar throws this massive party in the palace, but he wants everyone to eat and drink with like special cups and plates for some reason. So he takes all the golden cups and plates that his father took from the Jewish temple in Jerusalem, and he celebrates with those. Now, these were sacred cups and plates that were supposed to be used to honor God. Instead, Belshazzar is using them for a crazy party, and he's actually giving praise and honor to made up gods, like the gods of gold and the gods of silver. Well, the one true God is not happy about this. So here's what happens. During the party, Belshazzar looks over at one of the palace walls and he freaks out because he sees this hand like just a hand, I don't know, floating in the air like some ghost hand. Then this ghost hand starts writing words on the wall that everyone can see, but nobody can read. Then the hand disappears, but the words remain. Belshazzar wants to know what the writing on the wall says and what it means. Well, luckily, his mother remembers how Daniel served his father, Nebuchadnezzar. If anyone can help solve this amazing mystery, it's Daniel. So Daniel enters the palace and gives Belshazzar some really bad news. But Daniel was brave enough to do it because he knew God would back him up. Actually, it was God who had the writing put on the wall. Daniel told Belshazzar that God was not pleased with him. Belshazzar was arrogant and cruel and even disrespected God by using the sacred cups and plates from the temple. The writing on the wall literally said, your days are numbered. God has measured your life and found you lacking in any goodness. And now a new kingdom will rule instead of yours. Wow. So God was letting Belshazzar know that his time as king, it was up. That a new king and even a new empire was gonna come in and take over. Whew, that's rough news, but Daniel was bold enough to share it. Daniel stood up for what's right because he knew, hey, God's got me. He's taken care of me this whole time I've lived in Babylon, and he's gonna keep taking care of me now, even if I have to share some bad news with a wicked king. And I'm not sure if that wicked king even listened to Daniel or even believed him. The Bible says that he rewarded Daniel for interpreting the writing on the wall, and then maybe he just kept on partying. I mean, either way, I don't think he was humble before God. And that very night, the Medo-Persian Empire snuck into Babylon and took over the city and they assassinated King Belshazzar. Just like God said, Belshazzar's time was up. Now a new kingdom reigned instead. And Daniel, well, God continued to have Daniel's back. He gave Daniel favor with the new empire and its new king, King Darius. Daniel is a great example for us to follow. Whether in your home, at your school, or with your friends, you're gonna have to stand up and do what's right, just like Daniel did. And God is always there with you when you do. 
Trust me, guys. Just like God had Daniel's back, God's got yours. God's got you. Yeah, that was a crazy Bible story, but Daniel did the right thing and trusted God because he knew that God had his back. And God's got your back too. So right now in our groups, let's talk about that. Have a great week and remember, God's got you. Well, I hope you guys learned a ton from that message today. I know I sure did. And right now we're actually gonna make some time for you to think about and talk about what you just learned. So some questions will pop up on the screen for you guys to go through. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. We'll see you next time.